Hello, hello, and we are live. To be back. To 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 say he has to go somewhere. <laughs> All right, guys, we're uh we're kind of starting out, uh, kind of late here. Let me do a few shares, and then we'll get we'll get going. Here. So, uh, hope you guys are doing okay. Uh, there's two. All right, I'm here. Okay. We are live, dude. We are live. So, uh, sorry, guys. Five minutes late. Hate yep. being late here, but uh, we had some had some tech issues on here. Yeah. Uh, I want to do do a little share, and then we'll we'll kick it off. So, um, yeah. Uh, let us know where you guys are watching from. You know, it's been so long. You know. <laughs> love to love to hear where our new audience are coming or watching from. So tonight we have a uh, awesome, awesome thing. This tonight should be casual. Yeah. Did you bring your drink too? Yeah, I'm about to pour. Did you bring, did you oh, bring your drink? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, money? I, I I got this. Oh, you got. I, I haven't poured yet. Oh, okay, okay. I'm so, waiting. Uh, I'm waiting for the show to start. <laughs> <laughs> so i'll just do i just do a few shares so we got cal uh north carolina in the house yeah. so uh yeah let us know you guys, where you guys are watching this from uh tonight we're just going to talk about you know this awesome show that we uh me too are watching yeah. Yeah. and we're just going to spread some knowledge so um uh join us ask questions guys uh this is kind of cool uh so let me go ahead and share share public share there we go. And I gotta do one more share here. It's kind of weird. Like when I when I um when I host a live, I guess my computer gets really slow. So when I do a share, it just it just takes forever to populate. So does it does it do that with yours or is it just my computer too? Uh my old computer does. And so, <laughs> <I have> to... <laughs> so you're saying that that I, I need to upgrade. <laughs> I had like a old uh um macbook pro like super old it's probably like seven years old and it was top of the line at that time because i bought it for my photography business so you need um, all the graphics stuff yeah uh but i just got to a point where nah can't can't do it so uh w w do you use pc or mac I i'm a pc guy but you know there's not much graphics you know just do a facebook live and then uh i mean i got eight gigs ram and four oh, gigs dude, that's you know, that's that's like, you know maybe that's... at 16. <laughs> Minimal. Uh, okay, so uh, hey, what's up? St. Paul in the house. Uh, man, can you pronounce those names too? You're more, uh, more than I am. Let's see. Oh, I can see on the side here. Yeah. Uh, Money Kang, right? Yeah. Is it all the same? Money Kang, we got uh, oh, yeah, Sai, yeah. Sai and Kua. Sai and Chua. Oh, Tua. Tua. Yo. Uh, Lao. Yeah. yeah. And then Vanessa. Uh, St. Paul, Vanessa Lee from Minnesota. Which part of Minnesota, Vanessa? Uh, she, she's she's actually upstairs talking to her buddy, uh, Um, I asked them to join, but they, they don't like us. So I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> they, they're, talking, they're talking real estate deals. So. He does. His, okay. He talks every day, right? Pustin talks like every day on, on, the, on the show, All right? It yeah 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 he has a mong radio up here so he's he's constantly um yeah he, he does every thing. morning yeah this is normal, uh, normal for him you know yeah just to be facebook live all the time you know, <laughs> us, yeah, you, know sure. us, you me as a newbie yeah yeah <laughs> uh joel yang hey joel man how are you? you you lost you lost one of your uh models she moved up here to minnesota what happened <laughs> uh let's see he's beautiful yeah draw from jamon i was just kidding um it was yasmi was uh doing a lot of the shoot <laughs> the shoot for her but she moved up here to minnesota from fresno to oh, you know, start okay. her own shop uh yeah up here you loser, you loser. <laughs> uh Let's see, my 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 Yang from Fresno. Hey, my 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 Yang, that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty creative. My my my, yeah, Yang, Fresno. What's up, Russ Fresno? Yeah, she's from restaurant representing yeah. Fresno. 
So uh, I'm well, doing good things. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? So, you know, let's kick it off, man. So, you know, guys, welcome to show 40 Among Hustlers, you know. Yeah. We're, adding, we're adding shows. You know, I've yeah. been gone for a while. Now we're just kind of like starting uh, starting back up again, has some projects to take care of, and we'll yeah. slowly get back into the grind here. But uh, yeah. we, uh, you know, me and two are watching this show. Uh, it's called uh, Undercover Billionaire, you know, because, you know, this show is about money, right? So, you know. Well, wait, before you get started, we're more casual. What are you drinking, man? Me? Yeah. I, I haven't got my, my 10X cup, you oh. know. You see that, 10X? Yeah. That's I got this from a uh, from a 10x conference. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, guys, what do you guys think is in there? <laughs> you take it for everybody to guess. Put, put, put your uh, messages. What do you think is in uh, 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 a nice cup? I can't show it. You, you drink. You dark. drink. You you smoke cigar and drink uh, 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 whiskey with side down there all the time, didn't you? <laughs> no, I don't, man. I can't touch that stuff. Cigars, uh, oh man, I mean, like smoking like cigars and stuff. I can't. I mean, it's oh uh, okay. Try to this, one. Yeah, I just can do it. I don't know what it is, man. So uh, peer you're, pressure. You're good. Side side told me you're a good. You're a good guy. <laughs> so, I I didn't have no peer pressure like when I was uh, younger, so you know I yeah. never had it. But what do you got there? I got an uh, empty glass of ice, and, uh, <laughs> and 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 you gotta support the. Uh, this is really big, so you gotta support the uh, local um, uh, Kirkland. <laughs> yeah, Walmart. local company. Walmart no, no. stands, right? <laughs> no, no, this is Costco. Oh, Costco, Costco that's right. <laughs> Yeah, so this yeah, is equivalent. Yeah. This is equivalent to uh, 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 Johnny Walker Black. Okay, so, what's I mean, that looks huge, dude. Put that back up a yeah, little yeah. bit. See how big it is. That is it's, huge. It's Holy big, cow! It's <laughs> <laughs> I, I, is, I I didn't drink this all by myself. It was uh, right, was, right. Uh, but but this is the one point seven five liters from Costco. All because because right. they, they don't sell the little ones. So, that was from like what two days ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I told I saw I told I showed this to you yesterday, and this is how much we are left. <laughs> I don't know. You didn't show it to me, man. So you were probably out. <laughs> yeah. But, so uh, so but, me, I'm a whis I'm a whiskey guy. Uh, gotcha. I, I I don't drink. I do drink beer, but I'm more like IPA. Uh, I don't like to like shot beers and stuff like that. Uh, and then whiskey, like uh, you know, just slowly sip. No cigars though, so I'm not I'm not at size level yet. <laughs> <laughs> so just whiskey for me. So you guys wondering who Sai is? You know, Sai is a buddy a buddy of us. Uh, he, he's we call him the millionaire guy. You know, yeah. one of one of uh, Mong's millionaires. You know, yeah. uh, out yeah. there. So <clears throat> that's the guy we're talking about. You know, we poke fun of him, but uh, he's also a good guy. Yeah, well, um, well, because he has a, uh, he does some of the streams sometimes or some videos in his business talk, and he's always drinking, uh, <laughs> he's always drinking uh, whiskey with cigars. So yeah, that's, that's why. Yeah. We're, yeah, yeah. How how a millionaire should be like presenting himself, right? Yeah, yeah. A cigar and a little whiskey here. Hey, know? do you want to put your name on the thing too? <clears throat> oh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. You know, because you're more important, bro. You're more important. I'll just oh uh, there you go. There's my name. Hey guys, you All guys right. don't know my name is Chai. So right. let me do a quick intro. Uh for those of you guys just joined. Hey, thanks for joining. Uh we're yeah. kind of slowly starting back Mo Hustlers again. Uh show 40th, you know? Yeah. And we yeah. figure we'll start out casual. Four, zero. Yeah. Yeah. Four zero. Don't yeah. throw out gain signs or something. <laughs> and uh <laughs> you know, we start out casual. Um, there's a show called Undercover Billionaire. Uh, that one of our mentors, you know, we call him Uncle G. I don't know. What do you, what do you call him? I call him my Uncle G. Yeah, Uncle G. Uncle G. So yeah, I call him yeah. Uncle G. So uh, we watch him, you know, he's on the show, and uh, he's got some awesome nuggets, you know, that, that we took. You know, we took notes. I took notes. And I, yeah. I don't know. Did you take notes? I took a few. <laughs> That's a lot. Just, just right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's we'll compare notes i haven't seen what he wrote down he hasn't seen what i wrote down but you know yeah. 
but the, the the basis of the show is you know they took these these uh are they millionaires or billionaires i, I forgot uh before we get there let, let, let's cheer first oh cheers because uh, we're taking it easy uh if you guys want to drink along with us you guys can too uh let us know what you guys are drinking below uh cheese yeah. drinking apple juice yeah um no, they were uh, probably guessing what i was drinking right is that uh, what oh, it, oh, uh, oh that's what oh that, that's what they were guessing. whiskey water you know yeah uh, hey what's up zong uh uh money says i heard ty give away money when the whiskey starts to <laughs> yeah. uh yeah. right 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 yeah. anyways all right so, so back to the the show right uh they're not i don't think they're all billionaires but did you watch last seasons season one i didn't even bother with it okay. so. so season one was by glenn stern and he's a billionaire and then yeah. season two they got three people that were doing it, and Grant Cardone, Uncle G, was one of the guys. I think he's worth like three fifty or four hundred million right now. So he's not a billionaire, but I think all three of them combined, they're probably like a few billion dollars. And so, uh, you know, that's the name of the show anyway. But it's successful entrepreneurs. Uh, they give them what a hundred bucks, an old truck, and a cell phone with no contacts, and then they drop them off at like like a town that they don't know and they have 90 days to turn that hundred dollar into at least a million dollar valuation right if they don't then they have to fork up their own million dollar uh to the company so that's the that's essentially the premise of the show and the bet and so i watched last year it was great i learned a bunch from there but when i found another grant cardone or uncle g was going on there i was like damn dude i, I need to know how this which, guy's gonna do it right which one's better I mean, if you had to say which one's better, so we don't spill out any uh, info. But if you had to say which one's better, um, which season was better? I I think uh, well, I like this season, but it's a little biased because uh, you know we followed the guy, so you know. Uh, but you could <laughs> learn you could learn just as much. Gotcha, um, gotcha. Because er, er, like like learning their thought process, right? Like how they think about it. Because they don't have money, they go to a place where they don't know anybody. So they had to start completely over, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, anyways, that's the premise of the show. Uh, hey, bro, would you be able to do it? 90 days? You have 90 days to turn $100 to a million bucks? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> dude, even Grant says he would never do it ever again, you know? So I'm like, oh, dude, yeah. this got to be hard, you know? And he yeah. did it during COVID. I mean, these, these folks did it through COVID. So... Yeah um so so guys i mean you guys were guessing what i'm drinking it's uh sweet tea <laughs> <laughs> there's a sweet tea uh called milo's from walmart and dude i love it, it tastes so good uh, and uh that's what's in here so that's uh that's that's whatever uh you guys were guessing sweet yeah. tea is in there so uh, I'm drinking, uh um uh bitter tea what so bitter tea oh, I'm ability <laughs> no bitter bitter, oh, bitter tea <laughs> bitter. Yeah. yeah right we just saw the battle bro so yeah so you know you guys here you know uh me too we're gonna talk about the show you know yeah. Yeah. so uh i mean let's talk about grant first like the the whole the, the whole reason we watch it is because of grant you know yeah that's yeah. kind of the reason why i watched it yeah yeah me too and what was your background with grant uh, or uncle g like yeah, how did i mind. get how, how did i get to know how did you get him? yeah how did you get to know grant oh uh, well uh i was searching real estate investors so i actually know him well i started following him because he's a real estate investor um this was like four years ago and even four years ago he wasn't syndicating any deals yet so he wasn't like people don't really know that he does real estate uh and so yeah i started following him and then i saw all his i mean then you know of course he wrote a bunch of books so I start reading it and i think i was just at the that place where like like uh you know all the stuff he was saying in his books it's exactly what i needed you know like uh sell to be sold um <laughs> whatever it takes uh these are titles of his books uh what's the other one that was uh and then the big one is the 10x rule right that's the big one so that's why you got the 10x cup so, you know, like, uh, yeah, so that's how I got to know him. And actually, you know, uh, 
yeah so so i got to know him then start following him and then i hated sales i hated like getting in front of cameras like this like i never thought i'd be like doing live streams and, and stuff because i have speech issues i can't pronounce words properly and i always say um so i don't want to be in front of the camera <laughs> yeah 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 because i had a photography company i was like behind the camera okay like i was never really wanted to be in front of the camera but after i read that book i was just like oh um and then i start following him and then i realized that even in real estate you have to know how to sell like even if you're a buyer you actually uh, you have to still sell the owner to allow you to purchase the property so that's when i'm like oh fuck, i got i mean oh i mean oh shoot i got it <laughs> <laughs> i got it like we're two gathered you know, today yeah, yeah <laughs> whiskey yeah, right <laughs> yes yeah exactly it's this it's, this thing's talking yeah, yeah. um yeah, so that's how I got to know him. And then, uh, you know, just start following his content all the time and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I'm glad I did it. It was perfect for me for what I was doing and what I wanted to do, you know. How, how did you get to know uh, Grant Cardone? Well, um, I was I was talking to a few guys from work. And, um, and uh, at that time, it was kind of like, uh, I think I was kind of listening to like uh, Rich Dad, right? Mm -hmm. And one of my buddies like, dude, you like Rich Dad? Uh, listening to this guy called grant cardone you know yeah. i'm like okay you know whatever you know so i just kind of googled him on youtube and uh and i mean i heard some stuff it was okay and then i think i i think i i, I looked him up on facebook uh -huh. right and uh he was doing a uh it was a night time he was doing like a like a real estate transaction like a um like a deal yeah right it was like uh, he was doing a deal, a real estate transaction on Facebook Live, you know? <laughs> oh, I was like, yeah. and he was kind of walking through like what he was doing, like the way how he was talking, you know, how he was, you know, he was talking to, he was talking about the offer, yeah. right? You know, and I was like, wow, you know, this guy's doing like a, like a, like multi, I mean, if you guys don't know uh, Grant Cardone, he's, he, he buys like multi families, right? Yeah, yeah. So he, what he was doing is he was he was doing an offer on a multifamily on Facebook Live. Yeah, I've never seen anybody done that before, right? Yeah, yeah. We usually just you know go you know go to seminars and stuff, right? And just hear him like talk about it, right? Yeah. But like on I mean on Facebook Live, this guy's on it. Like he's he's talking about it. He's make he's trying to make that negotiation live. And yep. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like gold because I you know I never you know this is good stuff so that's how i got to him and just start following him and then yeah. you know he starts talking he starts talking about his you know his books you know yeah. that you mentioned all that stuff and then you know I, I just got hooked right yeah and then uh you know all his stuff is kind of like you know take you to the next level and stuff like that yeah yeah so what, I don't know what, if he what was it about him that that made you kind of attracted to him? because my younger brother the one right after me he hates Grant Cardone. So <laughs> I love the guy, but my brother hates him. So so what is it? What, what is it that he, he gets he gets hate? Uh oh I, I we can't hear you anymore. Man, it's it's your mic thing again. How about yeah, that? It, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so there. so what yeah. is it about him that attract I mean like like had you like paid attention to him? What is what yeah. is it about? Yeah. Either either you hate him or you love him, right? My wife didn't like him in the beginning. She uh, was like, he's too cocky, right? He's kind of pushy. Yeah. He's kind of like a, you know, he's like a salesman, which he, I mean, that was his profession, right? Yeah, yeah. So she didn't like him. And then we took him to, I took her to like one of those 10X uh, conference, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she was like, oh, wow, he's he's a little bit different, you know? Yeah. And you know you got you got to understand like when you're that successful you you have a little bit of confidence in you, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's how he is. He's got a lot of confidence in him. So you just got to see that. He's got to look away from all the other stuff, you know, because he's got a lot of confidence uh, in him, and just say, okay, yeah, what's he doing? And he does all he does is a lot of positive stuff. So, yeah. um, you know what also attracted me to him is uh, is his family like yeah. like he, he he loves his wife he cares about i think he he helped me save my marriage when uh because <laughs> i was like super pissed at my wife this one time and then you know because he does the he does the wednesday show with his wife 
Elena, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Elena, right? Yeah. Um, and so, like, uh, one of the show, he he just like straight out apologized, and he's like, "Go, go, go, get flowers to for your girl, like." Just go do it. It's corny, it's stupid, <laughs> but just go do it. Yeah. And I want to buy flowers for my my wife, and that's how we get to communicate. It, it, any, anyway, so if, yeah. if you are in the doghouse, just 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 go buy flowers, guy. Like, <laughs> like, like just just do it. Like don't hesitate. Don't don't think about it. Just do it first, and then you could talk about it afterwards. But what attracted me to him after like all the real estate stuff was that he's a family man you know like he cares about his wife he loves his wife he loves his two daughters and you know like all the stuff that he does is like with him and his family and you know all the other employees or the people that are around him are like sort of like his family you know and that's that's like what i want like i want to be successful but with my family you know i don't want to be successful and then i'm like by myself with my friends or whatever doing stuff and then my family is like a separate thing you know i wanted like the whole life and success all together you know so so when i saw that i was like all right yeah that that's what i want so i need to follow someone that is doing what i want you know yeah so yeah. uh yeah i mean i'll explain that a bit so those of you guys just join us you know uh me too here we're just we're just here uh casually you know um starting Moon hustlers uh shows back up uh so we're just casually going to talk about what we're watching uh which is you know one of our mentors uh get on the show and uh he's going to take how he took 100 dollars in 90 days up to a million dollar um and uh we're going to slowly talk about it and right now we're just kind of talking about how we got involved with him uh how he kind of changed our lives and and i'll tell you a little bit how he you know what how he kind of changed our life, my life too, right? So, yeah, yeah he, and you may not know, like, uh, remember, did we, I think we met at the, because um, I, I, we held a, uh, we held a, um, held a real estate seminar. Yeah. I mean, you and I first met. Yeah. That uh, real estate seminar that that we created, you know, among real estate uh, investors seminar out yeah. in the yeah. cities, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I think the big one you guys had was here up in St. Paul. You you flew yeah. up here. Yeah. Our first one, yeah, our first one. And yeah. dude, that was all Grant, dude. Oh yeah. I was I was I, I was I never had like I never presented in front of that many people before. Oh really? You know? Yeah. I've never <laughs> that was your first presentation. Yeah, I mean, so, even like, like in college, it was part of like the classroom, which is like 40 people, like that's probably like the most, right? Yeah, and yeah, we had like I think we had like almost two hundred people there, right? Yeah, that's so a lot for me to like, and we were pulling strings. Well, I mean, we made this. I mean, those of you guys didn't know, you know, I we I have a real estate uh, investors group. At Mon, yeah. we call it Mon Real Estate Investors. So if you guys are interested uh, in learning about real estate, you know, I created this group. Yeah. Uh, just search for it in Facebook, and then uh, just sign up, and you know, I'll let you guys in. And you know, in there is all positive. Everybody wants to learn about real estate. You know. Just yeah. ask questions and we'll we'll help you guys out. But uh, but during that time, you know, I was listening to Grant. I was using his strategies to yeah. get all these people to come to that seminar. Oh. <laughs> hey, you got so I wasn't planning. I I just moved uh to Minnesota at that time, and yeah. that's when I just uh, uh started researching Grant too. And so I wasn't part of your planning committee or group. I was yeah. I was the spectator. I was like, <laughs> how did the you hear about like, it though? How did you hear about it? Um, well, the first person I met was David Yang, and I okay. think he was I think he was helping you guys plan. So yeah. he invited me. But then my uh, cousin was also there, phone, um, and a few other people that I met along the way. Uh, uh, but I think that was like my first year up here. Cool, cool. Yeah. So yeah, I use all grant strategies just to get all these more people. To come up there i mean it was like it was yeah. it was a success you know i, I was yeah. kind of like amazed like hey this is cool you know i never spoke in front of like 200 people yeah know? and uh that was pretty cool so um hey man you need, we need to do that again uh, uh uh do do another event if there's a demand if you guys like it let's get some thumbs up let me see how many thumbs up we can get 
<laughs> <laughs> but uh guys you guys have any questions you know just kind of comment below i'll look out here and see what uh what you guys are saying um yeah. but uh yeah but, so before you, know, you go forward right uh i think i want to tell you this too you know how i got to know you it's also through grant cardone's uh stuff uncle g's thing because he said you gotta go meet like the biggest player right and at that time you were like the biggest player in that room so i'm like all right i gotta get to know this guy because <laughs> <laughs> i don't really approach people too like like I, I like like i said i had a photography company before i'm more like the behind the scene people yeah yeah like, i like to like lay in the back but then i'm starting all up and he's like yeah, yeah you gotta go meet the biggest player so when, when i saw you there i'm like all right that's the biggest player let me take a photo with him and I'm gonna message this guy, and, <laughs> <laughs> and him and I gotta do stuff together. <laughs> so All right, dude. Yeah. yeah. We're waiting for it. Let's go ahead. Let's do some stuff together, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so, All right. So back to the show. Yeah. Sorry. So that's cool. Yeah. So you know, Grant's changed a lot of people's lives. You know, I mean, ultimately, he's he's really popular. Uh, so he's changed my life a little bit, uh, and you know, obviously too. And now we're kind of following him. And uh, so he's got the show, right? So yeah. the premise of the show is they give him a hundred bucks, give him ninety days, and see what they can do with it, right? Yeah. And they they have they don't use any of their contacts, and they're thrown out into the city where they don't know, you know. And they have to about. use it. They have to use an alias, so they they don't know. They don't have. To, they can't use their name uh, right. either, right? Yeah. Right. So uh, I mean, you guys see the picture on the on the bottom left there. Uh, what was the name again? Uh, I don't even know. Oh, the other girl's name? Uh, Monique, Monique is the the one on the right. right? Yeah. So the left is Elaine Kalati. Elaine, that's right. Yeah. Then Grant Cardone's in the middle, and then the one to the right is uh Monique, uh, something Mosley. She's the she's the uh she created Mosley Group with Timberland. Um, you the, tell, the, the you tell music, the music music. Yeah. Music. Yeah. So. so so we're probably gonna mainly talk about Grand Cardone. Uh, if you guys want to know about the other two girls, um, they go to three separate cities, so they didn't do this together. They just, you know, uh, Discovery Channels, the 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 company that put all this together. So um, they go to three separate uh, cities, and they all three had different tactics and strategies to reach the same. I mean, to reach a million dollar valuation with just a hundred bucks, right? So Elaine Kalati, she ended up, uh, she's a real estate developer, uh, I think in LA or Long Beach area. Uh, so they sent her to Fresno, California. Um, so she had real estate background. Uh, Grant Card, uh, well, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go to Grant after. Uh, Monique, uh, uh, Lene, I think Monique, uh, anyways, I, I'd let, yeah, uh, Mosley. I think Monique, I'd let Mosley she uh was uh, a music producer before with uh, timberland uh, you know they their music label is home to like timberland nelly Furtado, uh one republic i think like all these big heavy hitters and so uh anyways but now she's not doing that she's doing like a startup angel venture fund of like 25 million dollars to really like uh promote like uh women in businesses and uh, uh, like minority groups in business and, and stuff like that. So uh, that's what she does. And then of course, why don't you tell about Grant? Because I told about the other two girls already. Uh, so Grant, he I mean he does. He's he's a sales guy. He started out as a as a, as a car sales guy, you know, and then uh, and then start teaching, you know, how to sell, right? Yeah. And uh, and then now he's like this big guy, you know. You know motivational uh real estate now you know uh his main focus now is this real estate um uh, he's got about yeah. what nine thousand units now you yeah. know so he takes all his money and you know uh, if you guys don't know him he's got all these other businesses but but his main focus is real estate so he takes all them all the money that he makes and just reinvests it back into real estate because that's his goal is to make yeah a lot of money with real estate so yeah and so he has uh he has close to ten thousand apartments now nine nine thousand uh, because uh, i just saw that the other uh, day remember i posted in the group oh uh, maybe he sold some he did <laughs> i don't know it's uh, like 
it's just a he 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 just acquired like this new one so it's nine thousand. Oh, so oh okay yeah nine thousand apartments uh, i knew it when i uh, first heard about him he only had three thousand so he three x in like four years and i was looking so apartments yeah i was looking at kiyosaki and uh i couldn't get the numbers of kiyosaki so i think when i was looking at robert kiyosaki um it was like three thousand something units right and then I was like, okay, three thousand, but that that date was back in two thousand seventeen or something like that. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, all right, so Ken Micro, you know Ken Micro, right? Yeah, yeah. I think Ken is the main one that Robert Kiyosaki yeah. invested. So, so I went with Ken, and Ken has about nine thousand also. So, <laughs> so Grant's pretty much equal with these guys now. <laughs> now Grant's more because Ken Ken is like the main principal and Robert is, you know, I mean he's he's not the he's not really the key principal in a lot of the deals. Right. But I'm just saying, uh, you know, yeah. I'm just saying like as far as number wise, you know, like oh, oh yeah, yeah. Wow yeah. man, Grant took it and just just keep escalating. Like yeah, yeah. like what he's supposed to be doing, which is what he talks about, you know, uh what he does, you know, 10X yeah, yeah. or you know scaling he's always talking about scaling up and that's kind of yeah. what he does you know i mean we've been following him and you know people hate him but people you know love him but you know he's he's definitely acquiring properties like crazy yeah yeah, yeah. So. so he's a multi-family guy he takes all his earnings and i think he dumped as much as he can in real estate in multi-family real estate um and yeah so that's grant but um so yeah, anyways, they dropped these two people, uh, these three uh, uh, entrepreneurs in three separate cities. Uh, Elaine Kalati was in Fresno, California. Monique was in Tacoma, Washington, or yeah, Tacoma, Washington. And Grant Cardone, they drop in in Pueblo, uh, Colorado. So he doesn't know anybody. They you know flew in there I mean, on his jet, drop him off, and then uh, they don't even give shelter or anything like that. So. Well, do you remember the first like sort of episode, like what he had to do at that beginning phase? Yeah, he got there and he was just like, "All right, I gotta find shelter or something like that," you know. And yeah. he was like, he was like, he doesn't care about that, right? He goes, yeah, "I can sleep in the car or whatever like that," right? So, yeah. uh, but what was cool was uh, that was, uh, um, I, I I've been listening to other interviews about what what he had in mind. So yeah. he already had a game plan. Did you know what the game plan was? His game plan? Did, I don't know if you were listening, if you have, if you have heard any other podcasts, but, but what Grant I, I was did, saying, but yeah, yeah, let, let, let us know. Yeah. Like Grant, he had a game plan already in place. Yeah. Like before he got there. And, um, I mean, I think the first one he's like, he's going to take that hundred bucks and just deposit it into the bank. Right. And he's yeah. like, the second thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and, uh, oh, man, what was it? Um, he was going to find a business uh, that's failing. Yeah. And then uh, he was going to kind of work with them. And then he's going to ask them if he can, if he can like sleep there. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that, I'm like, oh my God, that's smart. Right. Because then you don't have to pay for, for like a place to stay. Yeah. Like these other yeah. two girls, right. These yeah. other two girls, you know, they they got there and they're just like, all right, I need to pay for a hotel, you know. Elaine, yeah. right? Elaine was the one on the girl on the left, right? Yeah, yeah. You remember what she did? Yeah, she went in, uh, to Shepherd's Inn. She was looking for a hotel in Fresno, but uh, hotels were way above one hundred dollars per night, and so uh, she had to stay at this like sort of these uh, these inns that are like shared bathrooms and showers and stuff, because that's all she could afford. Yeah, hey June. So hey, you guys got questions along the way? We'll go ahead and answer them. Like, is this on Netflix? No, this is on uh, Discovery Plus. So if you guys yeah. want to catch it, the uh, the whole uh, the whole series already there. Uh, yeah, you know, it's you can watch the whole series, and um, and catch up or yeah. you know see what happened. So yeah. Um, yeah what, so what are your so, thoughts about like the first thing that he did? Like he he uh, he took the hundred bucks and deposited it in the bank. Like. You don't have any money. Why would you deposit money in the bank? Like, well, what are your thoughts about that? I have some thoughts about that too. Well, I mean, let, let's let's start with Elaine and uh, the other girl, right? Um, Monique, yeah. right? Elaine, yeah. Elaine was like, she was stressing. She's like, I need to find a place to stay. You know, maybe because yeah. they're girls. I don't know. 
you know but for me if i was like grant i don't mind sleeping in the car either so the, these girls they were stressing i mean you can even monique was he was kind of stressing about finding a place to stay what right? did you be dude huh <laughs> what what did you be stressed not really i'd be like <laughs> they <gave> him <laughs> in urban, right you know, i remember i had a <laughs> I remember I had like a car like back in the day and I was like, I was sleeping in it, you know. I was I, I would look, I would search all the names of the people in whatever town I'm at and look for long last name. <laughs> call that guy up. <laughs> and, hey man, uh Dooley. <laughs> help a brother Dooley. out, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey couple your mom. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> that alone saves you some money, right? Yeah, yeah. But you know, I, I guess Grant, you know, dude, he did he did the greatest thing, right? Yeah, Which so, it, did that blow your mind what he did? Yeah, that was yeah. Crazy. I'll let you I'll let you explain it. Yeah. So after he deposited the hundred bucks, <laughs> right? Which we'll get back to, but after he deposited the hundred bucks, he drove to an RV. And he went to talk to the guy and he just kind of shared a story that, you know, he's from LA, he's moving his family to Pueblo uh, to kind of start fresh and new and stuff like that. So, you know, he's there to look out, uh, you know, kind of search for opportunities and he wants to bring his family over, right? Uh, obviously it, it's because he really does want to bring his family over. And so uh, he just asked the guy straight out, the guy was Ryan, he's the owner of uh, RV Park. Uh, RV uh, 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 um, park sales place. I mean, they sell RV at the shop. So he just asked him like, hey, I don't want anything, but I need a place to stay. I just got in town. I don't know anybody. And he just straight up asked the guy, you know, like he doesn't want anything. <laughs> he just, whatever he could do to help Ryan, he'll do to help, you know, he kept asking like, he just kept telling Ryan like, hey, I don't want to hand out. I want to help you, whatever you need. I'll take care of it. I'll do it. If you need security, I'll be security here. Uh, whatever it is, but I need a place to stay so that I could kind of get situated. Uh, whatever you could do for me. And he just asked, like, hey, what can you do to help me? And Ryan says, yes, you could stay in an RV. So Ryan gave him an RV to stay for three nights. Free, no charge. So uh, I think your mic is messed up again. When, when oh, he did, yeah, yeah. when he said that, and he yeah. asked, it was just a simple ask. Yeah. You know? yeah. It was just like, hey, can I stay in one of your RVs? And you look at the, and, and I know they did a little delay. Yeah. You know, they they show Grant's face, and then they show the Ryan, whatever the guy's Ryan, name. Yeah. He said Ryan, right? Yeah, right. And it was yeah. like a long pause, and he goes, "Sure." <laughs> I was like, "What?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because I was wondering, like, where's Grant gonna stay, right? Yeah, and I guess he had that in mind. I mean, he was gonna yeah. ask somebody to stay, whereas these other girls they use a different strategy, yeah, they use part of their their hundred dollars, yeah, for I mean, to rent. Well, a place well to stay, Elaine right? did, Elaine did, Monique got uh, she called church because you know that's her faith, and so she yeah. got a place to stay for free. Because of the, the the church gave her a place to stay, so which that's why is, I said, yeah, yeah, that that was good too. Which was also kind of cool because she, she went to her faith, which is you know to a church, and then she yeah. also asked, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. you know just asking helps. I guess so. I guess the the first tip is just ask, right? Yep. Yeah. And when she asked, uh, what was it like a pastor or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's a pastor. Yep. And it's like, all right. I guess what do you give her like three days or something three, like that? Yeah, three nights at a hotel out of his own pocket. Yeah, not, not the church's pocket, out of his own pocket. And I was like, "Wow, okay, you know." <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Yep. So, boom, she didn't have to spend any money. Yeah, out of the out of their hundred bucks. Yeah. So you know that was kind of cool. So I guess that's that's one of the tips. I mean, that's one of my yeah. things I wrote down was just ask. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That was a part of your notes, but that was one of my things. I just ask, you know, I just ask people. Yeah, um, yeah. And then after that, he asked for a week. <laughs> <laughs> after a few days, he's like, "Are you comfortable with me staying here for a week?" <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and I was like, I was like what is he going to say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I'm sure, I mean, there were some uh, videos of him, like, uh, like cleaning the, you know, with the broom and, and stuff. So I'm, and I'm pretty sure Grant, Grant was, like, helping out, you know, just clean stuff, you know? Yeah. I mean, see, this is, like, a super successful individual with, like, a jet and you know like crazy expensive cars and stuff like that and it's not beneath him to just go clean you know get a broom and clean if you need to do it right so uh um, yeah which is which is cool you know he wasn't he wasn't like oh i'm not at that status whatever he's like all right i'm just you know whatever just gonna do it help clean and do whatever i need you to do yeah but that was kind of cool uh, and that was a different mindset. I was thinking, like, how is he gonna? Is he? He's probably gonna stay in his car or whatever, like that. But yeah, he took it to the next level, which is like he just went to like an RV, you know, uh, yeah. place, and just say, "Hey, can I just stay when you're rent, you know, RVs and yeah, cha ching, you know, yeah. that's yeah. a win right there." So um, yeah, the other note I took was with that hundred bucks that uh, I, I asked you earlier right i mean he deposited that hundred dollar and uh the other thing i took from that was that well he never know, he, deposited it he never deposited it he said that he was going to so i wrote down what he was going to say right he said you know uh so did you know what happened like how he got there so yeah he, right after the growth con right right after growth yeah. con he yeah. went there and because usually what happens is like every time he does a growth con he yeah. disappears for like a few yeah like, yeah like a month like he goes on vacation or like so i thought that he was just you know on vacation the vacation yeah 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 is that how you thought about it yeah that's what i thought about too and <laughs> and then you remember like those videos popped up of him like he, he's saying like he's bankrupt and stuff yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and people were like saying all this like talking shit and i mean saying all this this, this stuff he came, about him. i think he came back right yeah so so the time frame, guys, was this is uh, so he had a growth con, I think uh, it's like, February. like a like a like a business conference, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, he, he he holds one, and I've been to one of them, and they're freaking awesome, right? A lot of positive people and yeah. stuff like that. So usually, like I said, usually what happens is once he's done with that, because this, this thing is huge, there's a lot of people that come there. So after yeah. that, you know, he's done it. He's that was kind of like the fourth or fifth one. Yeah. So. I think he's done he's done with that he goes on vacation so what happens is you know we expected that he was gone but then yeah. that was right around COVID too right so yeah so the conference was in february yeah like uh, 2000 and is it 20 yeah so COVID hasn't hit yet right would it be close for COVID, like in march right yeah COVID was march yeah yeah so we're just like okay so that's kind of weird he disappeared maybe he does have COVID, or so. i don't know but yeah. he was gone and then all of a sudden he surfaced back up and yeah. later on in the show we find out that because they closed because COVID happened you know they weren't going to film i guess he came back and that's when he yeah. starts throwing up that all the you know yeah, all that that all bankrupt now and stuff like that right yeah yeah so people <laughs> thought because COVID made him bankrupt yeah and yeah. that was because in fact they probably stopped shooting uh yeah. the show because COVID hit and you know they couldn't you know yeah. nobody was going out so that he probably came back and he started you know doing all kinds of stuff and then he had to go back you know go back yeah. and redo the show after, after we'll, we'll pick, yeah yeah so he went back and pick up where he left off but yeah like i remember all those stuff were happening and people were saying that things and you know like i knew that it's not like you, you don't go bankrupt with like real estate that quickly like like you can't foreclose that quickly on real estate like like if you fight it it's going to be like a four-year process before they take you home like if you fight it if you don't fight it it's like a two-year process before they take your home or your house or whatever or your real estate portfolio so i knew that that wasn't the case yeah but man like every time when i thought like uh because i've been paying attention to him for like four or five years now right every time i thought he's like plateaued you know like boom he just does something bigger i you know because i thought he kind of plateaued already like with yeah. you know like four thousand units i think it was like uh you know like so he's starting to plateau with his real estate stuff you know and then boom this happened like he's he's at the next level already with this show so 
that that was great. Do you remember the reason why he did that though? Uh, for, and I'll explain. It. If you don't, I'll explain. It. Yeah, yeah. What was it? So you know, so there was a reason why he did that, right? That he was like, "Oh, I'm going bankrupt," because because he knew that COVID was the biggest thing, right? So oh, yeah, COVID is the biggest thing, and that's all you hear um, every day is COVID. And there's these other problems, you know, like in life, you you get distracted from like noise and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. in order for like, uh, and then you have to fight for people's attention, right? So yeah. I mean, the more attention I get from you, maybe you and I can start some deal, you know. Yeah. But if you get attention from other people, then you know you can pull away the other. So Grant's trying to create some sort of noise, and that was yeah. his noise saying that, "Oh, I'm bankrupt," you know, yeah, because of COVID and stuff like that. So then people start googling him, say, "Oh, yeah, you know that guy." You know, I never liked uh, him anyways. And start <laughs> doing all these YouTube videos. And that's when yeah. you find your haters, right? Yeah, and yeah. Everybody starts, you know. So then if you look at his, like, you know, his Google trend and stuff like that yeah, on him, dude, yeah. it was, like, spiking, right? Because then yeah. he started getting famous. That's how you get famous is by creating noise, right? Yeah, yeah. So that he did that on purpose, right? Yeah. So that's another tip for you guys, you know, just to create some that's sort of true. noise about yeah. yourself you know so when we look at you know drama and stuff like that you know like our most celebrities yeah you know but, but it's also noise like that you know oh, oh yeah one of the things right <laughs> <laughs> my wife pays my wife pays attention to those but right. uh but it's also true right because he was bankrupt as the character that he he had to become like uh lewis curtis was his alias uh and so like they did take away everything away from him because now that he's Lewis Curtis, he doesn't have er anything at all. So that's the same as, you know, taking everything away, you're bankrupt and, and everything like that, right? So, you know, it's still there's still an element of truth to that. But yeah, he did he did get a lot of attention because of what he did there. And I thought um, that was genius, man. I don't know if, if it was you, but you know, everybody in the in our real estate group, yeah, real estate investors. Were, yeah, or aggy him on. I was like, <laughs> I mean, I was with you. I was like, yeah. I was laughing. I'm like, dude, there's no way, you know, he's got so yeah. much real estate, you can't, you know. Plus, you plus, he, 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 he's not over leveraged. He's like three to one. He's super under leveraged. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm, I'm 25. I'm, I'm one to four. Like my, I'm usually around 20 to 25 percent leverage. Yeah, he's like 35. Like, yeah, kept like. 30 to 35 percent equity in a lot of his deals so yeah, yeah really i think i've heard from. him say like 50 percent leverage as well too yeah oh, wow you know so and so so the people that message me and they go ah oh, hi your uh your uncle your there <laughs> your uncle there you know he's losing it all you know yeah. and i'm just like okay we'll see what happens you know because i knew there was something was up you know yeah, yeah. and then i think what well, after a few days grant comes out and says hey you know I just wanted to see what would people say, you know, and he and he yeah. gave the reason why, and he and he, I guess he also mentioned he was like one of the most talked about person during that time as well. So you yeah. know, so it works out. So you know, yeah. that's cool, man. That was that was a cool trick, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I thought it. I thought that's great too. Um, what are what are your thoughts about the next step he took? Like he after when he met that RV guy Ryan, he also asked for Ryan to get him references, right? Like he's like, hey, your businessman. What what business people do you know around here, right? So one of the guy that he referenced or he he introduced uh, uh Grant to was uh Matt Matt Smith, right? He's the owner of like seven different businesses around. So what are your thoughts about like just like uh, I mean like I mean that's sort of the tip I got, right? Like when you see other people, they have connections to like people that you want to do businesses with, like uh, not necessarily the person that you're talking to right now, but they probably know someone that knows someone that knows someone that could be your business partner or your investor or, you know, like uh, all that stuff. So what are your thoughts about him asking for references? Uh, it, it was genius, right? So, but, but he said that that was part of his game plan. Yeah. Uh, it was to get here, drop off the money in the bank, and then he was going to go work out and meet people at the gym, right? Yeah, yeah. But instead, he would got he got the RV place, and he started asking for contacts, right? Yeah. 
Uh, and then the, the, the guy, the RV plays, say, hey, one of the biggest players is this other guy, you yeah. know? Yeah. And I forgot, what was his name again? Matt, Matt, Matt Smith. Right? Yeah. Matt Smith, right? So, so he's like, oh, you know, go meet this guy, you know? Yeah. And, and we always talk about, like, you know, in our real estate group, kind of like we all say, you know, it's, it's, it's your, it's, it's your, um, it's your network, yeah. right? The people yeah. you know is the average of your net worth, right? Yeah. So you, you, yeah. you gotta, you gotta find the right people. Yeah. So that's basically, he's going around asking like, who can help me? Yeah. Yeah. And that yeah. was cool. You know, yeah. um, Monique and Elaine did that. Oh, I think Elaine kind of just kind of stuck to like that one dude. But yeah. Monique was, dude, she's a true hustler, right? Yeah, she does. She took like, uh, so she went because the, the pastor gave her a place to stay. She's like, all right, I'm going to help your church. Well, I'm going to help the church. So she just asked around to, to see what they could help with. And she saw this list of, you know, because she's African-American. So the church is a predominantly African-American church. And so they have an NAACP chapter there. And so they were sending it to all these like influential like people. They're mailing these people, like all these senators, all these African American senators and like statesmen and mayors and all that stuff. So she she took like that flyer with her and asked for introduction to some of those people. So like yeah, that heavy was... heavy hitters in the in the, the city there, you know. Yeah, dude, she was not afraid. She was just kept she just kept going with those, you know, all these, I mean, these contacts that, you know, like are in high positions. And I was like, wow, you know, uh, yeah. that's pretty smart, you know, so. You're like a nobody with like barely a hundred bucks your name. You want to get to know these like <laughs> mayors. I know, dude, I'd be like embarrassed, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> then, it's like, I think it's confidence, right? They, they need, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, a little bit is about confidence too, but. And that was kind of cool, you know. She just like she just start talking to them, like there's you know people yeah. that maybe maybe they can help, and maybe they can't. But yeah, um, but yeah, back to Grant, you know he you know he was going for the big dogs, you know. Yeah, the biggest uh, business uh, person you know in, in that town, and I like his idea. Um, I mean, like he he was talking about because the other two girls and the guy that did it uh, the first season um they started businesses right and grant went there intentionally not to start a business but to like help a business grow and get equity from that business so it's easier like to him it's easier to go partner up with someone that's already doing it and add value to that person so that's why he was searching for like the biggest like player uh in that town or that city versus like him trying to figure out oh what what's needed here what should i start here you know, he just went for like the big guy and see what that guy needs help with. So uh, that that guy ended up being like Matt Smith, right? So yeah. So I mean, to elaborate on that, so basically what happened was that was his third. His third remember one of his things that he would plan out already was to go to like a business that was kind of failing, and just to just to work with them, and then you know, um, to uh, and then to ask him if he can stay there, right, for like yeah. a shelter. But but he took it to the next level. So, so what, I mean, what he did was, uh, dude. So he went and met him with, oh, yeah, go ahead. What, um, uh, man, I lost my train of thought there. Yeah. But, um, but, uh, but it's kind of like, it's kind of it's like not inventing the wheel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you're yeah. just going, you're just kind of, going into a business that's kind of like failing or need help yeah. and you're kind of like 10 xing it you know yeah. like in his words is like expanding it try to put your your take on it and make it bigger whereas these two girls here what they did was they started like elaine rebuilt a whole bar and a whole yeah. business right yeah and yeah. you can see the amount of stress that she was going through the whole show yeah. And then Monique was the same thing. She started a whole brand new business, and you can see like what she had to go through. You know, and Grant, yeah. he was just like, if "This doesn't work. We'll do this. If this doesn't work. We do this." You know, yeah. and it was just like casual. Yeah, I think Grant, like, like what I love about what Grant did, right, was that he went to, he he didn't necessarily wanted to start a business, but 
he went to see where he could add value to existing businesses, right? So just like searching for like value add that you're able to do. I mean, he does that with real estate all the time, right? Uh, always find value add uh, properties. And then so he look at, at businesses the same way, like, okay, what value can I add to that business and help that business grow? And then once I help that business grow, I could get a little equity or a piece of that business, right? And and that is easier than you start a brand new business because they already, like you said earlier, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. They already got it uh, started and you just need to push it and like, uh, you know, make it roll down the hill. Yeah, so, so those of you guys just join us, um, you know, we're gonna recap it right here uh tonight we're just kind of a uh, more relaxed you know show here we're just talking about uh one of our mentors uh that's on the show on the discovery channel called undercover Bill billionaire yeah. uh, these guys and grant you know which, which is our mentor um they they gave him 100 bucks and gave him 90 days to see how much they can make you know out of that and that's kind of what we're talking about is the tips and what they did to get to that particular level and uh me and two are just talking about you know you know what they did and it's kind of cool um so um well, we're at the hour already so if you guys want more of this let us know well well i don't know if we're gonna be able it's i think it's 12 episodes long so we're, we're not gonna be able to talk about <laughs> all of it but if you guys want go watch the show it's on discovery plus it's like four ninety nine a month or something like that. But yeah. all twelve episodes are on there already. You know, you guys could binge it, uh, and then if you, uh, I say it's worth it. I learned a bunch of stuff there. Um, if you guys go binge it, then if you guys want us to do this uh, or discuss this more, uh, the tips and, and stuff that we learned from from the show, uh, let us know a uh, comment or something like that. Then maybe we'll come back. Give, it, uh, give us a yes. Time. Give us a yes, please. Or, you know, or thumbs, years. thumbs up or hearts or otherwise. I'm only gone through like the first three or four. You know, it's only like two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got like a whole page here. But you know, uh give us a yes here. And I'm just curious to see how many yes would come up. You know, just curious. And if you guys have any questions, you know. All right, yeah. Chi goes, yes. Uh, you know, all right, we got one guy. All right, so you know, all right. Vanessa says yes. Okay, I guess we're doing something good. Yeah. <laughs> we're not making them fall asleep. But yeah, we gave out two good tips right there. There's yeah. some more tips that I was like, wow, you know, that's mind blowing what they did. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah awesome guys. You know, uh, my 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 says yes. You yeah. know, Ahua says my husband yes. said yes too. Oh, okay. So, this <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's good to see that you guys are interested because me, dude. Me yeah. too. Like we couldn't wait to talk about this kind of stuff, right? I'm yeah. like, dude, don't talk about it with me right now. You know, <laughs> yeah, talk yeah. About it on the show, you know, because we <laughs> want to share this. Because it's like, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I love this kind of stuff because it's like when, when, when they do something awesome on the show, I'm like, oh my god, this, that's like yeah. amazing. Like yeah. I don't, I don't want to talk about it because I kind of like, oh, I, I want to share it with people too. Like people are like minds, right? Yeah. So yeah. you know. I mean, I know like two. You, you're probably the only one that I know that probably finished watching this episodes. Other, yeah, yeah. You know, other than me, you know, because I haven't heard anybody else say they finished watching it. Oh, okay. I know so there's a why. few guys that are watching it, but I don't know how much they follow it. But yeah, I was on it every week, man. I was like, like, yeah, uh, yeah, for the last like 12, 13 weeks. Yeah, I was like, damn, every week I learned something new. Um, yeah, so if you guys want us to do this, uh, yeah, say yes again. Uh, let us know. Uh, some we thumbs might up. break this up a little bit, you know. Into yeah, like, yeah. But few. right now, I mean, I only gone through like probably like two or three bullet points that yeah. I learned. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. I mean, I don't know how many notes, how much notes you have, but you know. I have a lot. But let's uh, at least for tonight, let's go to like one more segment of the show, uh, or one one more part of the show. Right, and, and I want your thoughts on this, uh, and then maybe uh, we'll end it there. And if people want us back, we'll, we'll come back and talk about it. So he took, so he met Matt Smith at Snooze Fitness. Matt has a bunch of other businesses. So one of the business Matt has was, yeah, ten. One of the business Matt had was uh, uh, um, uh, the a mattress store, uh, um, Snooze or or oh yeah, the fitness was Snap Fitness, a Snap Fitness. 
And then right next to it uh, was uh, Snooze uh, mattress store. So Graham was in the sales space. So Graham goes to him. He don't want anything. You know, he's not asking for a job. He's like, hey, so what do you need help here? What can I do to help you? He's always asking like, hey, Matt, what can I do to help you? Because he, his attention was he wanted to help Matt since Matt is an entrepreneur, uh, you know, with seven different businesses. Maybe he could partner with Matt or maybe Matt could introduce him to someone that Grant could partner up with or something like that, right? So he knew that he, he, he needs to sh uh, show Matt that he's committed and he's able to provide value, you know? So he asked Matt, like, hey, what can I do to help? What can I do to help? So um, Grant came up with this idea, like this marketing idea to market like the mattress store, right? And so, uh, you know, it's gonna cost $5,000, but he pitched it to uh, uh, Matt and he's like, yeah, 5,000, I don't even want the money. You call into the print shop, uh, just approve the budget. Like, don't give me the money, just call the print shop, approve it, I'll give them all this stuff. And then, you know, all the marketing, everything, I'll come up with everything. I don't want you to pay me, just approve it and then I'll run the, the marketing campaign for you, right? And, and bring traffic to your, your mattress store to drive up that, uh, to drive up sales. So that's what he ended up doing, right? And then, so that weekend there, he was outside holding signs, getting people to come in, you know, pass out flyers, all this stuff uh, to, to create traffic to, to come to the store, to the mattress store, and which he did. So that weekend they made, uh, I think they made a lot more, but in, in the, uh, a lot more in sales, but I think they profited like $12,000 or something like that, that weekend, right? So then Matt goes back to, uh, 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 I mean, Grant goes back to Matt. They talk about how much was profited. And so at that point, Grant like still don't ask for anything. He's like, all right, so so now Matt trusts him, right? Because he's like, damn, I don't know who this guy is, but he just like profited one week at 12 grand, right? So, so then at that point, Grant was like, all right, so your mattress, how much do you guys do like per month? And so he's like, all right, what if I'm able to like exceed what you guys do per month, like X amount, and uh, you know, just the just the just the extra, not the not not what they usually do, right? So what if I increase sales by this much? You know, what can we do together? And uh, Matt said, what's fair is that he'll pay fifteen percent, right? Fifteen percent above what they usually do. So Matt and Grant agreed to that, and then right after they agreed to that, Grant's like. All right, you know I don't have anything, so can I get an advance on that? Can you give me ten thousand dollars advance on what I'm gonna do for you for the next month mm -hmm. or so? Mm -hmm. And what did Matt do? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That's crazy, <laughs> dude. That was crazy. But you know, to recap that, right? Yeah. So, so in one of uh, Grant's interview, he was like, "Dude, it wasn't like twelve thousand, dude. It was like." They yeah. made like ninety six thousand dollars selling mattresses. Yeah, like bed mattresses. Like yeah. it was like I think he said say like oh, within a couple of weeks, a couple yeah. of the weekends, and they're like that's the reason why Matt trusts him so much because that was like the most they yeah, ever made. Yeah. Like, so that's one of the reason why it was like he trusted Grant because like dude, ninety six thousand dollars like worth of just mattresses, you know? Yeah. You know, like so that's kind of reason why. So you guys were thinking like twelve thousand, okay, whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah. they spent if if it was even six, okay, so they spent six thousand what worth of marketing. Yeah, yeah, around five or six grand. Yeah, you got twelve thousand. Let's just say for that first week, that's still hey, that's still pretty good. Yeah. But overall, when I was looking, was listening to uh, one of the podcasts earlier, uh, yeah. Grant says it was like ninety six thousand, like yeah. within a few within a few weekends afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Know, just by doing what they did. And yeah. they're like, that's that. That's when I went. Oh, that's why Matt He's willing trusted to. him. Yeah. From there on, because yeah. like you look at the show, it's like, why is he still hanging around with this guy? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But if if some dude was to come into your business and and generate <laughs> you, that yeah. much money, you can be like, okay, he has got something. Yeah. He's special for some reason, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I want to keep him. So. That was kind of the reason why he was able to advance him yeah. that ten thousand, you yeah. know, and yeah. you know nothing. So on the, 
Yeah. Nothing on the ladies, but those ladies, they were still short. <laughs> yeah. The ladies were still, I think this was only like two weeks yeah. in the in the in, in the show. And you know, he finally got that going. And so, you know, he go from like not spending anything, uh, you know, to like ten thousand dollars, you know. And you know what I what I took from there as a tip was, you know, like quit asking for like, hey, how much you gonna pay me? Hey, how much like how much you pay me per hour? Like, you know, like Graham was saying, that's like you're just like you're searching for the crumbs, you know? Like what you should be searching for is like the key to the fridge so that you could get whatever you want in there, you know, <laughs> like you get the whole cheese. Like so like quit asking for like, hey, can you pay me? Hey, do I do this for you? Give me a hundred bucks. I do this, whatever. Like just add value to that person or whoever right. with that business. And then after that, you could ask for something after you already generated so much value to them that, you know, uh, they, they, they can't ignore you, right? you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want you. I mean, obviously, you know, you made that much money for them. He's They're going to want to keep that guy. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so. So those are you, like, this is what I said all the time because people ask you to mentor them as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, I'm like, because this is how I got started. Anyways, I got started like this because I was listening to Grant like four or five years ago, right? Yeah. So how I got started was I have my older brother that my oldest brother that has been in real estate for a long time. Like I didn't ask him to pay me when I was helping him. Like for six months, every single moment that I was free, I was helping him fix his properties, cutting the grass with him, like just so like I could learn real estate from him. You know, and this is my own brother. Like, it's not even like, like uh, uh, other people. But anyways, he not, and then after that, he introduced me to other people and stuff like that, right? But yeah, do that's how Grant does it too. Like, so that really speak to me, and I learned that from Grant. Like back then, to quit asking for like little stuff. You know, like just if you see someone you want to like work with them, just go help them. You don't need to like, like do stuff. Like, like you don't need to like keep asking them for like little things, you know? Yeah. And, and like the same thing, like I get to meet like a lot of other, like a lot of my other mentors, I find it the same way. Like I just see what they need and then I just do whatever I can to help them. Like, you know, like I don't ask for anything, you know, I just want to help. And you know what? Like when you help, <laughs> shoot, you learn a bunch of shit. I mean, sorry, I, it's casual. It's this that's but when you help hey. them, you learn so much already too, you know? Like hey too, I need uh, I need help painting my walls and my rentals. Yeah. Come, come hey, down and help me paint. Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll be there in July. So I'll, I'll, I'll help you paint. <laughs> awesome. So you know, I think we're gonna wrap up there. There's still tons of information that we wrote down. Yeah. Uh but dude, you guys whoever you guys you guys stuck by, man. But there was, you know, I think these were like one of the few good tips and i was like i don't know about you but when i yeah. when when these came up i was like oh my god that's crazy oh my god he just got a free you know week in an yeah. rv he didn't have to pay for anything oh my god just by asking you know he also got a jeep out. and a brand new jeep to drive yeah for free we'll, we'll talk about that too yeah, you know so, so you guys uh yeah. next and we'll talk about that too you know so if you guys haven't yeah. seen it uh it's on discovery plus uh yeah. just you need know, the subscription is cheap yeah, just yeah. pay for it and just you know learn something, right? Yeah, learn yeah. something. I know we're giving you like a, a little cliff notes on this, but um, if you guys want to learn faster, there you go. Yeah. It's it's uh, just just watch, binge watch it, and then you you guys can learn a lot. So yeah. uh, it's just that you know then you guys can come and join join us, and we can kind of talk about it, and you know, yeah. and uh, you know if you guys do watch it and you know want want to join us, just message yeah. us. You know, yeah. we'll, we'll add you on the show and then we can all talk about it. So, yeah, uh, yeah. but I mean, me too, we're like, we're not going to talk about the rest of it. We want to talk about it on the show so we can share this with you guys and you, you and me too can kind of like giggle over the stuff that, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that you and I learn because these yeah. are valuable tips. I mean, we're learning tips from like millionaires right now, yeah. you know, and these are just sh subtle, you know, yeah. stuff. So, yeah. Are you getting we're, a lot uh yeah we're mainly talking about grant but the other girls they have like different ways of doing things too but uh uh, uh, uh grant was just like uh he's he's just like he, he's he's different we we'll hate him we we'll love him <laughs> he's just different so he, yeah. he thinks about it a different way um 
what I would say is that sometimes a lot of people ask me like to kind of help them and stuff. And I haven't been able to reply messages to you guys uh, because um, there's some family stuff like uh, that that's going on. So I'm taking care of some family issues. Um, but that's about done. So I could reply to you guys. So if you guys did message me before, I'm sorry. But if you guys message again and, you know, let us know that you guys heard us talking about, um, you know, undercover millionaire uh, or undercover billionaire uh, and just say, yeah, I heard you and, and try to talk about it. I'll 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 do like a 30 minute consultation with you guys about just real estate investing because people have been asking me about it. Just to oh. kind of see where you guys are. And, yeah. you know, we could discuss. Maybe I give you guys tips. You guys might give me tips, too. But. Either you've been doing this for a long time, you can always learn something. Uh, it, even if you like just started out, especially the, I've been helping like four people uh, by their first investment, uh, just the last like few months. And so, you know, if you guys are brand new and starting out, and you guys want to know how to buy your first rental property uh, with little, or no money, the child has a lot of money. I, I don't, so I always what? do little. <laughs> <laughs> So if you want to start with like easy way to start, you know, very little money. It just takes courage and uh, do what granted them do, just go meet people. And so if you want like a little like just discussion on that, I could kind of share some strategies and strategize with you guys if you want to do that. Because I, I've been uh, helping like four different people do that the last few months. So it's been, I've been learning a lot from them. I think they've been learning some from me too. And if you guys want to do that, just let me know. I'm more able to answer my messages now. So, um, awesome. yeah. So just let me know. So guys, there you go. Free opportunity. Learn real estate investing with two fang, you know, yeah. so he's got how many deals, how many deals have you done already? Like we got 19, but we're closing on three more units. So we'll be at 20, 21. Wow. Uh, by so, next week. There you go, guys. You know, what a great way he's providing free knowledge right there so that's you know that's great you know uh, you gotta you gotta let us know you you heard us talking about uh um <laughs> undercover billionaire that's, that's the that's the secret you know hush yeah. hush if, if you give him that oh i heard you guys from from you know one hustlers yeah one hustlers yep so he's he's gonna be able to give you that you know yeah. 30 minute consultation you said 30 minute hour whatever you guys need okay. i mean not not like a five hour session but you know 30 <laughs> minute hour to strategize gotcha gotcha yeah. so there you guys go you know people pay for these seminars uh you know and stuff like that you know yeah talk to too and uh yeah. you know maybe you uh you might head toward the right direction you know down the road but yeah. uh well that's it uh to appreciate you come on maybe we'll, we'll do uh maybe we'll schedule another one where i, mean, I still got tons of notes i can't i thought we were gonna yeah. blow through these yeah <laughs> you know but i only hit like three or four bullet points here yeah, and yeah. I, I didn't even hit the rest of the girls that like, stuff that i learned from them so yeah, uh maybe yeah. this might be a series you know maybe we'll make it like a like a i don't know how many part would it be but you know i i, I think we could talk See, I, yeah i told you there's a lot of content and uh, yeah. you're, you're worried that we'll be done in like 20 minutes <laughs> yeah but i was looking at grant i'm like okay you know that's because i knew grant's content you know i could just but then I guess I, we have to explain it so they have to understand why yeah. reason he yeah. did that. So yeah. that took longer. So uh, yeah, plenty of content uh, that we learned on the show uh, that they took a hundred dollars. Yeah, maybe I guess it can't spill the beans, but you know you kind of did already, oh. but uh, because you you showed it, <laughs> I thought you weren't gonna do it. Oh. I, I was waiting. I was like, oh. I was waiting for you to be done so that I could talk oh. to you about it. But, you but anyways. It. You know, we're gonna, excited. you know, yeah, we're so excited. We're like, oh, okay. But anyways, all right. So if you guys didn't see the spoils, right? Grant did not meet his goal. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what he's been saying. So he yeah. did not meet his goals. Oh, uh, but but it's like it's super crazy. So um, maybe next one, uh, maybe we'll we'll put it on my my channel. Maybe yeah, we could bounce it back and forth. Yeah, we'll we'll do that, you know, and we'll make it like a like a, a couple part series, and then we'll yeah. put it all together, and you know. Yeah uh but love to have you guys join in on us uh that'd be great because it'd be kind of you know so we can all share you know you know knowledge together and what you guys learn how you guys are getting excited so um yeah. that's all i got uh yeah. until then you guys keep hustling right yep keep hustling. Night, guys. all right, all right cheers to
Cheers, man. See you guys. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys.